Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the next ECHL series analysis recap as we recap the Toledo Wally versus the Cincinnati Cyclones as the Clones did not make it easy at all as they actually went up in the series and forced the Walleye to win the last two. But let's get into it. Michael, the man, the legend, Hauser, that got to play in the NHL a bit this year, claps up to the beast. Great ECHL goalie, has had great AHL moments as well. Got to play in the NHL. Great man, Michael Hauser. Michael Hauser did all he could in Game 1, but Toledo prevailed. And Albert, Albert, Albert actually prevailed as he scored all three. So it was John Albert 3 the Cincinnati Cyclones, two, as this was an OT kind of series as well, just like the Florida Everblade series. A lot of OTs in this one, but that makes it fun in the playoffs. The most nerve-wracking, but also really fun to see playoff hockey go to OT. Then they reversed the roles, but had the same score. It was 3-2, to two, the Cincinnati Cyclones in Game 2. As Justin Vave, uh, Luke Brown, and uh, Vave, or Vave, I'm so bad with certain freaking names, I apologize for it. I think it's Vave, uh, <clears throat> because of where he's from, but I'm not sure uh, that he was able to score twice. Hawkins was also able to score twice, so he and Hawkins were the stars of that game, but he was able to get the winning goal, JV, so he was able to win it for the Cincinnati Cyclones in that game. And then the Cyclones go back-to-back, -back, which this was an impressive win because obviously the Cyclones have a hell of an offense as well, and that was put on display in this game. But when you think of one of the best offenses in the E, you definitely think of the Wally. And when you get into an offensive onslaught game with the Wally, no matter who you are, you usually are probably going to favor them. Well, guess what? Don't tell the Cyclones that. As in this game, Game 3 at the Heritage Bank Center, the Cyclones, because of the win... Winning goal by Patrick Paulino in overtime. Their sixth goal, lucky number six, were able to win as uh, Lucas uh, Craigs was the one that was able to score in the third period, which was able to tie the game. So two key goals from those two studs, as those two would be the stars of that game. But then the Walleye bounce back and have their best game of the series, taking down the Cyclones 4-2 one in game four so that was a huge win for the Wally as it seemed like then all of a sudden things were really going in the Cyclones favor but then the Toledo Wally step up again as Hensick had a good game Frazier and Hawkins again who was a man on a mission this series was able to have a goal in that game for the Toledo Wally so looks like things are starting to go back in the Wally's direction right they were the better team in the regular season Looks like after that win stuff goes back in the direction. No, wrong. Uh, the Cincinnati Cyclones and Michael Hauser with a 42-save shutout are able to then beat the Walleye on the 28th as Griffin and um, Andrew Andrusiak were able to score for the Cincinnati Cyclones. And then, but the problem here is Cyclones could not close it out. The Walleye were able to, in desperation time, get back-to-back -back wins, winning the closer 4-2. to two, But they got a shutout of their own, back-to-back -back shutouts in this series. As Christopoulos was then able to get a shutout after Hauser was able to get a shutout. And um, the, they were just not able to close it out. Hauser uh, didn't play bad in this game at all. He made 41 saves and 44 shots. But uh, the, the, the Cyclones, unfortunately, were not able to close it. And then in the final game, the Walleye, I think the easiest way to put it to sum up this video, were just a better team. And uh, Sean Bernard is no Michael Hauser, so he, he might be one someday, but he ain't now. So uh, he was not able to get it done for them. Billy Christopoulos is the much better goaltender in that matchup. And he was able to prevail and have a fantastic game. And the Walleye played great defensively in that game. Hawkins scored a hat-trick. Obviously, he was the MVP of this series. And Albert was able to score, who would probably be the secondary MVP, since he also had a hattie, and was able to play well around, even when he wasn't on the score sheet. So there you go. That's the series. The Walleye made it interesting as hell. 
but they were able to prevail in the end as they were able to win the final two. So they definitely had your hearts pumping as fans. But there was also OTs in this series. Makes it the most fun and interesting in the postseason to have that. But that's your recap of the Toledo Walleye against the Cincinnati Cyclones. Were a great job by the Clones to push the Walleye to the max. They just couldn't get it done in the end. And fantastic job by the Walleye in desperation time to play two pivotally great games in a 3-0 win and a 4-2 win. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. I'll be back tomorrow, probably, to, is when I'll put out the preview for the Wheeling Nailers against the Toledo Wally. Peace out, everybody.